In the southeast, where there's no natural deposit of good aggregate, the existing road network provides a mineral resource which should be reused. We've been using in situ recycling for the last 20 years, so it's not a new process from our perspective. We've been able to encourage other authorities to use it based on our experience. As part of the highway surfacing scheme, we always take cores before works take place. And recently those cores have identified coal tar layers within some of the roads in Enfield. As part of that process, we found it was quite costly for our client to dispose of this contaminated material. So we therefore have delivered to our client a cost-effective solution for dealing with coal tar bound roads. The benefits of in situ recycling are that you can improve the foundation on a network which is poorly constructed. Anywhere where the road is a bit thin, a bit weak or has in fact failed. In situ recycling is where all of the elements that are of the road, the materials within that road are dealt with on site. We reuse what was there before the process started. The in situ recycling process involves removal of the bound layers of the surface and then pulverisation of the foundation layers. The pulverisation allows you then to remix with a hydraulic binder. You can slow the rate of hydration to give you a relatively low strength material so that you do not get cracking, but it has a high stiffness which can support traffic and loads. As part of the pulverising process, SPL go down into the foundation of the road, which may be made up of clay or rubble. In minimising the, the hazards of the coal tar, the pulverising process takes the condensed coal tar layer and it granulates it and spreads it across the entire surface area of the road. The benefits of in-situ recycling are that the construction process can be much quicker. There is a lower carbon footprint due to the reduction in lorry movements and you can avoid tar contaminated horizons going to landfill because they can be treated in situ and re-engineered. This concept of low strength high stiffness is very important in designing pavements. The advantage of using blended cement products as part of the hydraulic binder, in particular a 70% PFA, 30% OPC mix, means that the hydration reaction is much slower. So even when it's protected with the asphalt layer on top, the hydraulic bound layer that's produced by the in-situ recycling process continues to gain in stiffness for many months afterwards. This is a significant benefit. We can use the process on any of Enfield's roads, be they in the residential areas of the borough or as we move further out into the more rural locations. We have yet to find any areas that are restricted to this process. In Norfolk, we've got 10,000 kilometres of network, 9,000 kilometres of which have never been formally constructed. We have a late demand for improved foundation out there. In situ recycling offers us this chance through conventional maintenance budgets, which is most beneficial to the highway maintenance engineer. The other advantage is you can do the construction process much quicker. You could perhaps traditionally take four weeks to reconstruct a road. If you were to compare that with the rubberisation process, that may actually only take a week. So there is a, a great reduction in disruption to the travelling public and residents within the area. With most residents they 
realised that the highways maintenance has to take place and if we can reduce any disruption to them then that's welcome. The use of hydraulic bound material as a foundation offers significant advantages over a type 1 unbound subbase or any other unbound subbase layer which traditionally has been the preferred form of construction. In order for a client to have confidence in the construction process they can set a minimum in situ stiffness level to be tested at construction. This can be based on any of the levels in the highways agency specification IAN 73. A typical type 1 unbound layer will give you a surface modulus of between 50 and 100 megapascals. A typical hydraulic bound layer will give you anywhere between 200 and 600. I've not known a single contract where we've not achieved what we set out to achieve following the right procedures on site. At the end of a the scheme there is a minimal amount of material removed. The other benefit to it is obviously environmental, there's far less vehicle movements and that gives us a, a great CO2 saving as well for the contract and for Enfield in general. This is something that we certainly wish to be a part of. In situ recycling is the way forward. <laughs>